In this video, we will learn about creation of LR0 automaton. We can create LR0 NFA as well as LR0 DFA. But this video is focused on creation of LR0 DFA. LR0 DFA is important because it is used by two different parsers. It is used by LR0 parser and LR0 DFA is also used by SLR parser. So both of those parser use LR0 DFA. Before creation of LR0 DFA, we must know some basic concepts. Number one, we must know the concept of items. If I have a prediction, X goes to alpha, beta, gamma, where these alpha, beta, gamma can be terminals or non-terminals, then from this production, we can create four different items. So our items for this production are X goes to dot alpha, beta, gamma, and X goes to alpha dot beta gamma and x goes to alpha beta dot gamma and finally x goes to alpha beta gamma dot. Now this dot represents the progress of our parser. For instance, in this case the dot specifies that we have already seen alpha and beta but we have not seen gamma yet. In this case, the dot specifies that we have not seen any of those symbols yet. Whereas in this case, the dot specifies that we have seen alpha, beta, gamma, all of them. So we have seen this whole production and we can now do our reduction. So this is the concept of our items. That item represents progress of our parser. But what about a production which is x goes to epsilon. Now note that epsilon is neither a terminal nor a non-terminal. So this production will have a special item which is x goes to dot. There will be no dot before epsilon or after epsilon. Only this x goes to dot because Epsilon is neither a terminal nor a non-terminal, it's a special production. After knowing the concept of items, we must know how we create our DFA. We create our DFA, we use two different rules. One is Cloyer rule and one is Goto rule. So let's first talk about Cloyer rule. If a state of DFA has item A goes to alpha dot B gamma where B is a non-terminal then the closure rule states that we must add all the predictions of B in that state. So we must add predictions of B say B goes to X, Y or B goes to M, N or all the possible predictions of B in that state and our dot must be at the beginning of the left hand side of each production. So this is our closure rule, simple enough. The second rule that helps us to create transactions of DFA is called go-to rule. 
So go to rule states that if I have a prediction a goes to alpha say dot beta gamma where beta could be terminal or non-terminal and my dot is before beta then I must create a transaction from this state of DFA on beta. I will have a transaction on beta and the new state must have the same protection but the dot will move one step towards the right. So the new state will have a goes to alpha beta dot gamma. The dot has moved towards the right and then we will add more items in this new state using our closure rule. So this rule tells us how to add items in a state of DFA and this rule tells us how to create transactions from a state of DFA. So there are some other rules that how to specify what is our start state, how to create our final state, but we don't have to worry about those rules yet. We can clear our board and jump right into an example and learn while creating DFA of our example.